This is Gavarok Fervenor welcoming you to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. We've just killed Tiamat, we have just had our little dance. I think it's our final dance actually, though there might be one at the end of the game, I can't remember, I hope not. And we're about to see Whisperwind Cove being unlocked, which is very good, because once we finish this, once we look at our bestiary and um, revel in the glory that is Warmek slash Death Machine, and sell our stuff, because we haven't in a long time, and rest at the inn in Cornelia. Then we're going to go through um, the four dungeons of Soul of Chaos. As such, this will be a very, very short video, at least depending on how long I talk to you for and how long this goes for, because I'm not going to do Start Soul of Chaos in this video, nor will I today. So it might be a normal video, it might even end up being two videos, because I might be slow at selling and basking and unlocking. So, yeah. I, I don't think it'll take me ten minutes, though. If it does, then I have a problem. Well, I already have a problem, but I'd have a worse one. Yep, and uh, the Fenian looks around. Jumps. Tiamat statue fades. Whisperwind Co. Woo! Wanna go fight War Make It? No! This is the altar of wind from which the power of wind flows forth. Our next location is the temple of the Chaos Shrine, but we're not going there for a good long time. Save state. <laughs> and it takes us outside the Mirage Tower, which we can go back in again if we wish to, which we're not going to because I promise you now I'll never set foot in there. Oh my god, Maximum Gill! How long have we had that? Sorry, just had to look at that. Uh, just before I go off and sell my stuff, I'd just like to go one more sweep of Optimal. Yeah. 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 Optimal just gives... Optimal automatically equips the best equipment for each character in each slot that they can equip at the time. Now, that's only in terms of stats, not effects, so... I'm just praying that there's nothing really good in my inventory that gives me a great effect that I'm missing out on. If there is, then for me, but there's heaps of good stuff in Solar Chaos, so I'm not going to mind that much, especially if I don't know about it and I'm not going to find out. Oh, God. It's... No, that's Provoker. Whoops. What I meant to say was... Oh, God. I wonder if you can park your airship in here. No. I don't really think I need to save up Gil when I've got 999,000, but I'm still just going here to relive old memories. <laughs> that plus Earth Gift Shrine is rather close to Cornelia! Don't ask me what that noise was. God, look at this. Look at the magic. 50 gil. What What was what was the level 8 magic, by the way? Oh, yeah, I remember. 40,000. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Gavarok. Now, I've got max gil, so it's not like I'm actually selling this for anything. But I don't want it cluttering up my inventory, so I'm going to get rid of it. If only you could transfer Gil to the Final Fantasy II section of this game. If that was the case, I would be so doing that. Now, a couple things we have to do. Very important is the Adamantite. I'm probably going to forget it, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, well, as soon as I finish this shopping, I'm going to cut the video off and go straight to the Adamantite area because I don't want to waste time because I've got half a video left to A, get the Adamantite, B, look at my bestiary and see Warmech, and C, go to Earthgift Shrine in preparation for the next vid. Start with the bestiary, eh? How do you get there? I don't know how you get to the bestiary. Bugger. Configure? Yeah, there it is. 
I knew it was in an odd spot. Haven't been here in a while. I don't give a crap about the rest of these. I just want to see the amazing... <gasps> see, it gets normal encounter stuff. Yeah, look at this. Soldier. That's a normal one. Attack at high no two. Death machine. Attack 128. Accuracy 200, which means it... It's never going to miss. Defense, 80. Agility, 48. Intelligence, 50. Evasion, 96. Magic defense, 200. Same thing as its accuracy. Kill. Woo! The XP. Woo! Treasure I didn't get, but I don't give a crap. I'm not going to fight him again if it kills me. Well, actually, it probably will. Oh, no, wait. No, it won't, because I'm good at this. Okay. Save state. One. And four. I think I'm up to four. But yeah. I'll see you soon when I get to the Adamantite area. Bye. For those of you playing at home... Actually, that worked. Cool. Uh, we're at Mount Dwega, which is the land of the dwarves. You all know how to get there, and if you don't, then you better look up old videos. This is Smithy. Seemed like a minor character when we first spoke to him. But here he is. And we've got Adamantite. And you know what metal does. Actually, no, it's Smythe. Whatever. Could this be Adamantite? With this, I'll make you the finest sword you've ever laid your eyes on. What, by hammering it four times, five times, you five times? God. Game physics. It's done! In all my years, I've never, I've not crafted a... It's done! In all my years, I've not crafted a finer sword. Go now! Take her with you! Wait, so you, you craft the very best sword you've ever made. And you give it to us and tell us to... Woohoo! Excalibur, Excalibur, Excalibur. I'd just like to, right now, offer my sincerest thanks to Prince Arthur... Uh, King Arthur, sorry. I'm very sorry that we had to steal your sword, but it's for the greater good, i.e. saving the world. I hope to God it's a good sword. Oh, God. Sixty-four... Attack. I'm truly... Oh, 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 oh. This is Zutra's ribbon. It doesn't defend him from anything, but by God, is it just as valuable. Oh, my God. Plus 15 on the defender. Turns it. <laughs> oh. That's where we're going at the very end. This is where we're going now. We're all fully helved. We've got Max Gill. We've been playing this game for almost 15 hours. Not all at once, of course, but by God, is that a while. Actually, no, I wonder if time goes quickly when you go on fast mode. Because it, the game isn't meant for fast mode. So, let's have a look. So... No... I just want to see if it does it, because it should. It should make us spend... The time should pass quicker when you're on fast mode. Yeah, there we go, 57. Okay, I'm going to count now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm counting faster than the seconds, but I don't care, because it's probably going to go faster anyway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See, there we go. It's very quick. I just wanted to test that out, because I've still got a while left on the video. But yeah, so, according to the game, if not for speed mode, I would have been playing this game for 15 hours, and I bet you that I must have spent at least an hour game-wise. No, I spent an hour real-time-wise. I must have spent at least two hours game-wise in bloody war mech hunt. But yeah. The stunt went away, so I took a peek inside. It was living over with gruesome monsters. I'd stay out if I were you. Well... 30 videos ago, or was it 40? No, it was 30. Your advice was the soundest thing in the world, and I completely ignored it. Now, however, I'm level 50 bloody 7. So I'm not going to listen to what you're saying, because I am going to do this, and I am going to live through it. Tomorrow. Of course, not today. 
I shall see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. Soul of Chaos Edition! Fare thee well, my friends. Fare thee bloody well, well.